Hello everyone, I am Chenami Anino and today I am going to share my learnings about Ian Stewart, both nature of numbers, specifically chapter 4, the constant of change. But first, let us know on what are the two views on how we view nature. For a good many centuries, human talk about nature as one between two opposing points of view according to one view the universe obeys fixed immutable laws and everything exists in a well-defined object reality the opposing view is that there is no such thing as objective reality that all is blocks all is change science advancement is largely have been governed by the first viewpoints but as society moves forward, there have been signs that existing and a cultural doctor are starting to switch in a second way of thinking. Throughout our, our discussion, we are going to talk about how laws generate change. First, I will be discussing who is Sir Isaac and how did he invent calculus. Then his discovery of gravity, and lastly, I not diffusion, what is it, and how it does it work. Sir Isaac Newton, an English spe specialist and mathematician, was born on December 25, 1642, in London. He was a cul culminating figure of the scientific revolution in the Renaissance era. He has a many major inventions and together with Goldfeed, with himself, Newton invented the calculus. With the discovery of calculus, calculus, a technique was provided, it is called integration and differentiation. Between them, they tell you that if you know any of the functions, position, velocity, or acceleration at every instant, then you can work out the other two. To put it simply different is used to calculate the gradient of a curve and it's used to find out the instant of rate of change from one point to another whereas integration is used to calculate the area under or between the terms with that all said I'm going to pass into my body maker of Paris. Now in Newton law of physics, the change in nature can be described using mathematical processes. processes. For example, heat equation is described as the rate of change in body temperature. But what is rate of change? A rate of change is about the difference between some quantity now and its value an instant into the future equations of this kind are called differential equations. Let's return to our original topic. Calculus other kinds of examples for differential equation are applied in real life. Calculating the movement or flow, electricity, population, growth, decay, and survivability with age. Through doubt, its majesty, the celestial bodies of the universe continues to fascinate us. From our beloved Milky Way and onto the deepest reaches of cosmos itself. One of its fascinations is how the Earth and other planets are orbit around the Sun. It is because the Sun's gravity that keeps the Earth in its position that discovery is made 300 years ago but one person may be clear of what gravity truly is that person is sir isaac newton he proposed that the universe can be described in terms of differential equation newton's law of universal gravitation states that any two bodies in the universe attract each other with a force that is directly proportional to the product of their own masses and inversely proportional to the square of distance between that. Other examples from Newton's reversal gravitation are an apple falling towards the ground. It's the same force that causes the moon to fall around or with the earth. This universal force 
also acts between the earth and the sun or any other star and its satellites each attracts each other and newton and his successors tried solving the equation for a system of three or more bodies they failed to find the exact solution instead they tried to find ways to calculate approximate numbers for example around Charles Eugene Valenway filled an entire book with a single approximate to the motion of the moon. Other problems that have approximate a logarithm problems are the traveling salesman problem, the unique games conjectures problem, and the bin packing problem. We're not done yet. I'm going to discuss what Arnold Diffusion is. In 1994, Si Hong Tea of the Georgia Institute of Technology proved what mathematicians have learned suspecting that a system of three bodies is not integrable by showing that such a system can exhibit a strange phenomenon known as Arnold Diffusion. Discovered by Vladimir Arnold of Moscow State University in 1964, Arnold Diffusion produces an extremely slow, random drift in the relative orbital positions. The drift is not three random. It is an example of the type of behavior now known as chaos. Other examples of chaotic behavior are the butterfly effect, double pendulum, and Lorentz system. In a place of quantitative answers, we seek qualitative ones. In a sense, what is happening looks like a retreat. If it's too hard to find a formula, then try an approximation. If approximations aren't available, try a qualitative description, but it's wrong to see this development as a retreat. For what this change of meaning to us that for questions like the three body problem no formula can exist but there are always to solve them the book of ions the word nature in numbers is fascinating especially the chosen topic the constant of change i realize that this chapter deals with the pollution of a strict law and flexible flux in nature and i learned a lot from it Math it allows us to recognize patterns, quantify relationships, and forecast the future. We use the word to understand math, and math helps us understand the world. This is Shena May Anino, BSN1B. Thank you.